Hey guys, Chris here with Indy Farm Life. And Nicholas back there, checking out the fire. Might be a first. Nick and I in the same video, actually talking and not just looking at each other, standing and having drinks while Adam works. I don't know if I'm gonna like this so much. Anyway, so got something for you guys today. And no, it has nothing to do with this piece of iron behind me, unfortunately. That is on the docket. But today, uh, Nick and I are actually going to be crafting something to hold our firewood. So we've got pretty much an endless supply of pallets. And so just kind of gonna start slapping some stuff together and see what happens. We've always used pallets as, to store our firewood on to keep them off the ground, but we run into, we stack it lengthways along the back of my barn to get sun all summer so it really will dry out. But then when it comes to move it, you know, each pallet just kind of falls apart. You know, we end up with only a fraction of the amount of wood on it that was stacked on to begin with, and then we're picking it up and stacking it twice. So. Like I said, with our endless supply of pallets, we're gonna see what we can come up with. You know, just have some fun, see what we can do. I'm sure you guys can't hear a word because the wind's gusting at like 40 mile an hour. Which that's what happens when you're in Indiana and it's not snowing or icing, just raining and it's 45 degrees. Okay, so pallets, ground, T-post. So we would just run it all the way along down through there. Then we go to pick up the pallets. Just lose half of it on the ground. So there's some of the pallets. Like I said, we can get plenty more. I'm thinking something kind of like this. And I'll set up and time lapse it. You know how we like to do. So you can see it all come together. But I think I throw a couple cross supports on that with some of the wood left over from Adam's wood miser. Let's see what we can come up with. Maybe put a back on it. He'll be surprised when he sees it too, because I didn't ask him if we could use some, but surprise. All right, there you guys have it, there's one. So the thoughts are, with those cross braces there, we can still pick it up from this side, or this side. And got a couple of braces along the back, just to stop it from bowing out too much. You think front, maybe get one here? Yeah, probably put one there. Well, there you have it. 10 more to go? Yep. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see the end of the day progress. Those are all reject pallets. It's more of the fact that three of them aren't the same size to make one, but. So we got this cute little guy right here. Two, three. That cute little guy. And that one. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this video pretty helpful. Like I said, it's pretty easy to do. Nick and I put four or five of these together in a matter of, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. And that was a break to go steal some more lumber from, from Adam's pile. Shh, don't tell. But like I said, if you have extra pallets laying around, looks like we'll be able to get estimated about a half a rick in each pallet, at least some of the bigger ones. So it'd be really nice to be able to take it right up to our log pile as we're splitting and uh, throw it right in. Be able to sit it out all summer and then move it in, in the winter and uh, be able to move around pretty easy. So hope you guys found this pretty helpful. If you would, pr please like, subscribe, and uh, check back for more. Thanks, guys. Take care. Hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's on video, don't worry. Nice and secure. See? <laughs>